Hey there, Russell Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you a live trading session on June 12th, 2013. We are one day away from rollover contract. Next week, contract expiration. We've had a little bit of a sell-off this morning with the opening session, and our 25-minute open range has been set at a high of 989.10 and a low of 983. No trades yet. Again, nice little sell-off here on the Heiken Ashi. We're having EMA crossover. Market internals are still in the green. And we are coming up to a high of the session, which is at 989. So we'll come back to uh, when I take a trade, whether the trade is above the 25-minute open range or below. We have target set above at the FIB line at 991.9 for first contracts to come off. If we come below the open range at 983, my first target will be the daily gap at 981.6. Be back in a bit. Okay, as we can see, price is here at the bottom of the open range. We have some nice selling Heiken Ashi bars. The target of 981.6 is our first target. See if we hold here, getting towards the lows of the day. So far, 25 minute open range holding up. A little bit of a volatile session here with contract rollover. Breaking under 983 here. A little jumpy. Twenty-five minute rope and range holding up and coming down. Looking at our market internals, we have a declining on the tick. For the Russell, declining in the AD, we got a decline on the trend, which means up, and market breadth is above zero, but coming down. Overall markets over here, we got decline on the ES under the 25 minute open range, so I expect to follow suit of the Russell. Go ahead, take an entry here. And take our first contracts off at 981.6. Actually, I'm going to take off everything here today, I believe, at 981.6, being the daily gap. There and we will put a stop up at 986.2. All right, give this some room to run down here. Nashi bar selling off here. Here's my 25 minute open range. First target 98.1.6, which is a daily gap, which I expect to be hit. I also expect probably a quick turnaround. I'm going to go ahead and just take out both contracts today, being what today is. Oop, what's my order here? This is a quick trade today out at 200 bucks, and I am done. 
All right, price still failing here, but in and out. Daily gap's been hit. We're at the pivot. And we'll call that a trade for now. Price may still fail here, but being what today is, I decided to just take a short one on 981.6. And I'm out. So as you can see, price uh, actually found a bottoming here at the daily uh, at the daily gap and has bounced back up. The only re-entry I would take at this point is if we came down with some conviction under 981.1, which is the daily pivot and showed some solid selling on Heiken Ashi. I still do have an EMA crossover. I still am finding a little bit of resistance here at the bottom of the 25 minute open range. So a sell signal is still in play, but will not take a re-entry unless I come back under 981.1. Looking at market internals, we can see we have uh, the tick for just the Russell coming down, the AD line. Still in the green, we got mixed mixed all around here, so not a, not a sign of positive in any direction. Taking a look at the other uh, markets, uh, the ES underneath the 25 minute open range, YM has followed suit, the NASDAQ a little bit more strength there, and then the Russell uh, as you can see holding up at the 25 minute open range. We'll go ahead and come back on as soon as if we drop under 98.1. Okay, as we can see, price has uh, held up at the 25 minute open range. Heiken Ashi bars all sell signal. Again, I'm looking for an entry at 981.1, which is the daily pivot. However, I do have a weekly pivot at 980.3. So maybe a little bit of a trifecta here. I'd like to see more weakness not hold up and break down to 977.3, which will be Camarilla level at the um, L3 level. So we'll see what happens here. So far, daily gap and pivot are holding up and the 25 minute open range. So a little bit of a tight zone here. All right, we'll see what happens. Come back later. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this trade. As we can see, a lot of sideways action here. Um, no conviction in this. I don't want to get chopped up. As we can see on our other indices, price has moved back up close to the 25-minute open range. And the Russell coming back into the range on the five-minute bars. And overall market... Internals on the Russell, his tick has stayed above zero. Our AD line came down, showing a little bit of strength coming back in, as well as our market breadth all around has been uh, still in the green. So if price does come back down below, I'd be looking at an entry somewhere below this. It looks like we have some solid Heikinashi bars forming here. Drawing a Fibonacci target, uh, we did hit the Fib target one. Showing a line of resistance here at 50%, but again, we're coming back up above that. We might have an EMA crossover here. So favors not to the downside right now. One day away from rollover. Glad I got what I got with two contracts. If price, again, shows some conviction downside with some nice Heikinashi bars like we have, uh, like we have right here with some nice solid bars with tails coming down underneath the daily gap uh, we have uh, some lines weekly pivots the one hour open range so sort of uh, trifecta here including the target of 980.3 so not a bad way to start the day don't want to get chopped up here i'm happy with what i got i'll see you guys later